everybody, it's Caitlin here, and today I'm very excited because I'm going to be trying something new for the first time ever. I'm getting a medical skincare treatment. Da -da -da. So excited! I can't wait for my skin to be glowing and beautiful. I mean, it's not bad already, but it's just going to look so much better after this treatment. Since I'm brand new to getting any kind of skincare treatment, I figured that they're gonna be a lot more like me, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride and also just talk about kind of what the process was before I made the appointment and show you kind of what happens after as well. When I first got into the room, she asked me what my skincare concerns were and what kind of my routine was at the moment. Uh, what kind of products I used, uh, how was my skin, and uh, what my past experiences were with any other kind of treatments, which were none. My biggest problem with my skin is probably some light acne scarring because I'm really bad with touching my face and picking at my face. I just love to pop pimples. I know it's not good for you, but I can't stop. And even though I know I'm just like creating more destruction and causing more harm, it's really hard. Along with acne scarring, I have some irregularities, especially on the left side of my face. I have a lot of kind of like unnoticeable moles, unless I'm like at the right angle, you can only tell and see them. But I have about five or six, and I also had one removed when I was 16 or 17. I got one just below my cheek that I had gotten removed, uh, which got infected, and then since I was really bad at touching my face, uh, I would pick, and now it's just a crater in my face. Great. <laughs> I don't really moisturize. I do wear a lot of SPF in the summer and moisturize my skin. But when I told her that, she really recommended that I be using SPF all year round, even though it's winter and I don't go outside a lot and it is cloudy most of the time here in Vancouver. Just need to be wearing more SPF. I know, I get it. I need to be wearing more SPF. But she gave me a hot tip about SPF. Most drugstore brands are a chemical based SPF, which means that UV still gets absorbed into the skin. The physical base actually reflects the UV rays off of your skin instead of absorbing them. So to know if it's a physical base, you just need to look at the ingredients and make sure that it has zinc and titanium oxide. Fun fact that I didn't know before. After going through all my skincare concerns, she kind of started to tell me all about the different treatments that they offer and what it targets and what it does. And after doing all that, we decided to land on the Celebrity Face Package, which is so exciting. I mean, who doesn't want to look like a celebrity? Celebrities, I got the nice skin, and I want to have the nice skin, you know? The Celebrity Facial Package includes microdermabrasion and the LED light therapy kit. Microdermabrasion removes all the dead skin off of your face and also helps clean out the pores. The LED light therapy mask targets uh, acne and breakouts. It also boosts collagen and blood flow to your face. So my constellation, my constellation, my constellation was constellation, constellation, consultation, my consultation? Anyway, I spoke to her about a week ago and today is the day that I will be getting my skincare treatment. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you the entire process, hopefully, and uh, you also get to see me after. Okay guys, it is now Monday and I had my treatment on Friday and it was actually really lovely. When I got into the building she gave me a couple forms just to fill out an initial and there was like 50 things I had an initial about all the things that could go wrong, all the things that were warning me like if you use this product in the last six months and if you use that product make sure not to do it and all these things that I had no idea if I had used those products. Like I don't know if the things that I have right now some ingredients are in, so I was just like check mark and be like, do you know what? It's gonna be fine. Okay, oh sure. I'm taking the risk of my skin peeling off or my skin to become crazy discolored, but it was fine. We started off by steaming my face, which was really nice because I felt like my sinuses were really congested, so it really helped to loosen those guys up too. But after steaming it for a couple minutes, she started to cleanse my face, and then we went right into microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion did not hurt at all. She actually warned me before we started that it was gonna feel a lot like a cat looking at your face. And it did, it really did. Except with all the nasty, gross, cat probably licked his butt aspects of it. It was actually pretty soothing. It didn't hurt at all. It, uh, it took probably about five, 10 minutes of her going through across my entire face. She even got to show me the filter after. Guys, I thought my filter was gonna be disgusting. There was some dead skin, but not a lot. She was actually really impressed with uh, how little came off, and she said she's seen a lot worse, so. Go me! After the microdermabrasion was done, she went on to do the light therapy mask, and I thought I was gonna get that cool, like, crazy mask. With the little eye slits and you look like Leonardo DiCaprio in the Iron Mask, but alas, 
I did not get that. Instead I got this big book open shape light that was right on my face and she gave me these little goggles, little black goggles that I literally couldn't see anything when she put them on so I couldn't get any footage because I, girl, I tried. I tried to get footage of me in this light mask after she <laughs> left the room and I was like, okay, muscle memory, just try and remember where my camera was and it didn't work. But when she put those black goggles on, I couldn't see a thing. It was pitch black and when she turned on that light, it was like blinding me. I was like, oh shit, this light is real bright and I didn't want to peek my glasses to get my phone so I could show you, so I thought I was going to go blind. After the light therapy, she did a three-step face mask on my face. The first one was to open up my pores. The second one was to help raise and lift off any dead skin. And the third one was just a really nice, intense moisturizer, followed by some SPF to protect my face as I make my way back home. I did get some footage of me after my treatment was all finished and she had left the room. My face was pretty red uh, and glossy. I actually had to take transit home. I had to take the SkyTrain and a bus, and I even had to pick up a couple groceries, which I did get a couple looks, but the redness eventually faded really quickly, and by the time I got home, I was just really glossy instead of red. Right after the treatment, I noticed that my skin had already felt lighter. It felt less tired. My skin felt rejuvenated. I was just, it was like preppy and like glowy and well moisturized. <laughs> the next day, I did notice that I had a few breakouts, but they're just really tiny. I expected that because on the forum I read that you will get, there may cause some breakouts because it's bringing it to the surface. Uh, but the day after that on Sunday, they're pretty much gone already. Now being it a couple days later, I do get to see the benefits of the microdermabrasion and the light therapy already starting to take effect. Uh, I have a scar right here that I had always been able to notice. It was like slightly raised and I already noticed that has diminished quite a lot. I got that one a long time ago, but I noticed that it already went down and my pores were actually a lot smaller too around my nose, uh, which is fantastic. And I do feel with more treatments that they will be able to reduce some of the scarring that's on this side of my face. But overall, for my first time, I think it was really pleasant and I definitely feel like it was worth it. Uh, I was actually surprised at the cost. I think I got a discount because there was a, a special promo going on for this month. Uh, but it actually cost me $105. I was going in expecting to pay like two to three hundred dollars. That's great. I am so excited that I finally took the plunge into getting better skin. Will I be getting more skincare treatments in the future? Definitely. And if you guys like this video, please just let me know if you want to see more of this kind of thing. Um, it's a little bit different than from what I usually do. It's more about my experience instead of what I'm creating. Uh, so if you enjoyed that, just make sure to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps and keeps me motivated to keep going. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.